This is the most controversial sound in Britain. It's been called dark and nihilistic. Some of the rappers behind it have even been banned by court order from making it under the belief that their words can incite serious crime. They ain't really out here trying to risk it. Trying to rise that mash and fill it. Trying to pack them fill it. Drill rappers are one of two controversial groups to be criticised for violent language in Britain. The other, surprisingly, are members of this house. The authorities have linked a wave of violence to an underground form of rap music known as drill music. The genre is infamous for its violent lyrics. And we've tracked down some of Britain's most brutal bars to this in a London estate. Some of the shocking profanity and threats of violence you're about to hear are actual quotes from figures elected to this house. This is political drilling. The day that it becomes, you are hurting us more than you are helping us. I won't knife you in the back, I'll knife you in the front. You hear that? The moment is coming when the knife gets heated. Stuck in the front, 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 front and twisted. She'll be dead soon. Can't stop breathing. It is important for us to declare that the artist behind this track calling himself Drill Minister, produced this after we presented to them several quotes by serving and past parliamentarians. Let's see if you can spot the other quotes. I want to rest as she's chopped up in a bag in the freezer. That's political drilling. Cutting cheese, blowing on trees, till my party's winning. She's a dead woman walking, caught up by dining. Get in your knees, bitch. She won't doing no talking. Considering how violent this genre is considered, how is it that quotes of members of parliament slip so easily into drill sonics? We wanted to speak to parliament's community leaders and MPs to understand what needs to change. Well, I think politicians should be held responsible for the language they use and the impact it has on the culture and climate of debate. I think politicians who use violent and misogynistic language should be identified and they should have the whip removed. Fire. And I ain't seen up in a good while, but it ain't all doom and gloom. When we get to the wood pile, the phone don't stop, so the phone don't stop. At a time of rising violence, should we be asking MPs to be more responsible with their words? Or are they just reflecting their communities? MPs should be held responsible and accountable for their views. You know, the words that we've seen this weekend are normalising violence, misogyny and harassment and bullying. They've got no place in our politics. Some of the most vicious quotes you just heard were made as anonymous briefings, the political equivalent of wearing a balaclava. That's a motif common in the drill scene that has been frustrated by the authorities. But if the young black men in that community can be criminalised for their words, shouldn't the older men and women here be held accountable for theirs? <laughs> Simeon Brown reporting straight out of Parliament. The words of many of our leading politicians set to drill music. Amazing stuff.